I am Geneva Sharif, the assistant principal at Ypsilanti Community High School, and I'll be reading Amazing Grace by Mary Hoffman, illustrated by Carolyn Bitch. Grace was a girl who loved stories. She didn't mind that she had to read to herself or that they were told to her or made up in her own head. She didn't care if they were from books or movies or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved stories. And after she had heard them, and sometimes while they were still going, Grace would act them out. She always got herself the most exciting part. Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc. And sometimes she was the wicked web as Annecy's the spider. She hid herself in the wooden horse at the gate of Troy, and she went exploring for lost kingdoms. She sailed the seven seas of a pig leg and a parrot, she was Aladdin, rubbing his magic lamp to make the genie appear. She was nobly in the backyard jungle. Most of all, Grace loved to act, adventure stories, and fairy tales. When there were no one else around, Grace played all parts as herself. She set out to seek her fortune with no companion but her trusty cat and found a city with streets paved in gold. Sometimes she could get Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy or tired. And then she was Dr. Grace and lives and lives were in her hands. One day, Grace's teacher said that she could play Peter Pan. Grace knew that she wanted to be Peter Pan. When she raised her hand, Raj said, you can't be Peter, that's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter Pan, whispered Natalie. He isn't black, but Grace kept her hand up. All right, the teacher said. Lots of you wanna be Peter, so we'll have to have auditions next week to choose parts. She gave them words to read. So I read my favorite book from my iPhone as a typical millennial. Um, it didn't end, but it turned out great.